Well, we've done dozens of flips. Numerous properties that we have bought, that we have remodeled and sell. But this time, our formula is not working. No, God, please, no, no! This property has been sitting for over two months. Two different buyers went under contract. They fell through, their financing didn't uh, pan out. And now the property is back in the market for the second time and is sitting. So uh, why is not selling? Why is this formula not working this time? Our formula always worked. Six months ago, I would have sold this property in a matter of hours. Multiple offers, probably people lining up outside to come in and look at it. Now, nothing. The buyer pool has completely dried out. It's not moving. Now we're worried. Why is not selling? Why is not moving? That is the main idea on this video. So stay with us. In this video, we're gonna talk about our formula. Why is not working? Why is this property not selling? And what are we gonna be doing about it? Okay, so let me tell you a story about this property. We bought this property about three months ago, 90 days. It was uh, not pretty. Um, the property didn't look the way it does right now. Uh, we actually remodeled the whole thing. So for people that do flips, you know what I'm talking about. This was mostly cosmetic, uh, flooring, uh, walls, kitchen, cabinets, appliances, all that stuff. The property looks great now, but it didn't look like this three months ago. So we bought it for about 300,000, right? And we put in, uh, you know, uh, a few thousand and made, uh, made it very pretty. The moment that we bought this property, the market shifted. The interest rates started rising up quickly. And maybe I would say probably 50% of the buyers that were interested in buying a property like this a few months ago are gone. They are, have disappeared. They would love to buy this property, but they tell us we cannot afford it. So buyers are being priced out of the market. This property, I think I mentioned this before, it would have sold within hours, multiple offers, over asking, the whole thing. We listed this property for 375,000, 375. We expected to move fairly quick, it didn't. So this is what you as a, as a seller, as a flipper should be thinking right now. Should I continue to drop the price? You know, we started at 375, it's currently at 359 and it's still not selling. Should I continue to go down and continue to drop the price? and maybe come to the point in the realization that, hey, we're not gonna make money here. No, 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 Jack. Maybe try to sell, make it up, you know, make it a, a flush here and just walk away. Or maybe should I keep it? Maybe should I rent it out? Renters are paying much more money these days. Rentals are very high. If you are a flipper and the property is not selling, this might be one of the routes, one of the options to follow. Just you know, get it out of the market, hold it, rent it out for the next year, and then see how the market is behaving next year. I, I think the interest rates are going to balance out, are going to stabilize in the next six months. Right now, we're looking at the moment that we're shooting this, rates are around, um, you know, over 6%, which is insane, because a, a few months ago, we're looking at, you know, three, three and a halfs, and that was making properties like this affordable. Now, forget it, it's over. Most people that could afford this home uh, three months ago can't do it now. Okay, so what's the message? What is the lesson that you can take away from this video, from uh, our reality check on this one? Remember, we bought this property, we thought we were gonna flip it, we, were gonna, we thought we were gonna remodel it, make it look really nice and sell it for a profit in a very short period of time. We didn't and that's okay. So if you're a seller and you're doing something similar, something like this, and it's not happening, hey, uh, change your strategy, change your plan. Maybe rent it out for a while. Right now, you're looking at rentals at an all-time high. So maybe it's a good time to rent this property, bring in some tenants and hold the property for the next year. So it could be uh, you go from a strategy of fix and flip to something that is maybe you know buy and hold and then sell it. Watch out for those interest rates because that's the key. We saw how the market changed within three months. We're looking at uh, interest rates in the three, three and a half, and now we're looking at 6%. So a lot of those buyers went away. We lost them. They will come back because the market will change 
again. We'll see that the moment the interest rate stabilize, maybe next year, and they're settled maybe four and a half, four and three quarters, which I think is gonna happen, uh, then a lot of those buyers will come back and the market will move again. Maybe it's a good, that's a good time to sell the property. So the message is, and the lesson is, stay flexible, willing to pivot, willing to change, willing to try different things. That's the real estate market. Nothing stays the same. So don't panic. Don't think that the market is crashing, that the housing industry is gonna go down. It will not. It's just, it's just change. If you, if you adapt, you'll be fine. So that's the message, that's the lesson. And uh, I'll tell you in a maybe different video how it went if we ended up selling it or renting it out. Stay uh, well, stay put for the next one. I'll see you next. Bye.